and they were hungry, and they knocked on doors, and everybody said, sorry, I have nothing to share with you. And they would have to keep going, and they'd have to knock on all these doors in this village. And so finally, they decided that they were going to do something about this, and they were going to make this magical stone soup. And so they got this, they shouted from the village square, they shouted for everybody to come out, and they asked if anybody had a big pot to share, and somebody brought a gigantic soup pot, and so they put some water in the pot, they heated it up, and they put a stone in it, which does not sound like very delicious soup to me, I don't think I'd want to eat just stone soup, but people started to watch and kind of wonder what was going on. And they said, well, we can make this delicious soup if only we had a carrot. Well, somebody heard that and said, you know what? I have a carrot. There's this little girl here who says, I have something I can offer. I've got a carrot. So she brings that forward, and then other people catch on. And they think, well, you know what? I have a potato in my pantry. I could bring that. And then everybody else starts to think, you know, I've got a little something I can offer to this soup as well. And there's a radish and parsley and beans and peppers. And everybody realizes, you know what, I do have something to offer to this soup that these guys are trying to make. And they all bring it forward. It all gets thrown into the pot. And this wonderful smell starts to drift in the air. And everybody comes out of their houses, they bring their bowls, they set up tables, and they all get to enjoy this delicious soup that they made. And it all started with this stone, kind of a strange thing. And if you, if you were here last week, you remember that we heard this part where they said, if anyone wants to make this soup again, just remember the recipe. Bring what you've got, put it in the pot, Every bit counts, from the largest to the least. Together, we can celebrate a stone soup feast. So everybody got to enjoy this delicious soup, even though they didn't think that they had anything to offer these guys at the start. They realized, you know what? If we put what we have together, we can create something really delicious and wonderful that everybody gets to enjoy. And so, in the life of the church right now, we are in stewardship season. And stewardship season is kind of a fancy word for taking care of things and offering things to the church, offering what we have to God. And this is a time when we together decide what that's going to look like for ourselves, for our families, what we can contribute through our time and our talents, as we talked about last week. And today we're going to talk about our treasures our money, what we have to offer, and what that looks like. And so today in our scripture passage, we're going to be talking about those treasures. And afterward, we're going to bring our pledges forward and put them in our soup pots. And we're going to make our own stone soup. And we've got these envelopes that have peppers and broccoli and potatoes uh, salt and pepper. So for those of you who are sticking around here in worship, we need your help to decorate these. So we've got markers and crayons on the back table. There's some up here in the playground. And if you would, color these as your way of offering your time and talents to worship today. And then after the sermon, we're going to pass these out to everybody. And we have pledge forms at the end of each pew that we're going to have everybody fill out and dedicate their time and their talents and their treasures to this church. Because just like that stone soup in the story, it only works if we all contribute together. And if we all bring what we have to create this beautiful and wonderful church that we have, where we get to learn about God and worship God together, it's a pretty cool thing, isn't it? So I'm going to hand a couple of these out to you. you can Saeed, you can be in charge of the back table ones. Jacob, you can be in charge of a few. You want to bring some to the nursery? Okay. So thank you for offering your time and talents to our worship. Shall we do our prayer of illumination? So we're going to bow our heads and we're going to pray. And I'm going to say a line and you get to repeat. 
repeat after me, okay? All right. Oh God, open our ears and hearts so we may hear your word. So, you want to go back to the back table?